Welcome everyone. We are so excited to see you in just a few short days. Before the semester starts, we wanted to give you a brief overview of Moodle and the syllabus so you'll feel prepared when you get here on campus. So uh, your Moodle, once you open it up, you'll come to the home page or the page for the class and you'll find your welcome to the class, a very brief overview, the required and recommended textbooks for the class. So required are your OTPF4 and your Willard and Spackman. Recommended is a reference guide, a quick reference guide, a dictionary to OT. It has just a lot of quick little snippets of information that we use frequently as OT, so you might find it quite useful. All announcements, please check to make sure there aren't any announcements specific for the class. The announcements do get pushed to your email, um, but be sure to check this regularly. Nice video, library link, I won't get into this right now. We will um, dive deeper into that later um, when we meet on campus. Here's where I take attendance. Now this is an introduction to the course, this first module. You will be expected to watch my videos, read the syllabus, and take a quiz. So within this introduction to OTM 525, you'll get a welcome from us, a welcome from the AOTA, and a whole host of other resources, as well as the syllabus and little quiz that I am um, recording right now. Also within your intro, you'll find the syllabus and assignments. The syllabus aligns with your Moodle. So all, most of what is in Moodle will be in your syllabus. So here on the front page of your syllabus is our contact information, myself, Dr. White, and Dr. Calvani, our office hours, particulars about the course, um, the objectives of the course, which align with the ACOAT standards, ACOAT being our credentialing agency um, to ensure that we're giving you the best education possible and that we're meeting all of the standards that you will find on your um, credentialing exam. Again, you'll find your textbooks here, additional resources, the grading scale, all of the assignments with a very brief description, and then all of uh, the weeks are laid out with readings that are expected to be done as well as assignments. And as you go through, you'll find more information about expectations from us, professional behaviors, um, netiquette, if you lose your password. So make sure you're going through the syllabus in its entirety. In my next video, I will briefly go through these assignments, so make sure you watch that as well. Each week I've outlined with expectations and then learning objectives. So you'll know how to prepare for class and what our expectations are for class. You'll have readings and um, assignments within each of these modules. So be sure to read thoroughly to find out what the weekly topic is, what our expectations are, what the learning objectives are, your readings, your assignments. Now each week is on here in your Moodle so you can click through each week. However, I will only open up one or two weeks in advance so as not to overwhelm anyone with information. Um, but you'll see everything outlined in your syllabus. Our weeks run from Sunday to Saturday, so that allows you plenty of time to be prepared when you come onto campus. So you'll have the readings outlined, the assignments outlined that will prepare you for when we meet together. Um, so be sure to do all of the work that you need to do to be prepared. Um, you will also find when it's a lab week, what the agenda is for the week so that you know what will be expected of you and what we'll be doing when we're in lab. These are your assignment blocks. So these are the assignments that will be due um, 
to uh, for grading. I think that is that for syllabus and Moodle. If you do have any questions, be sure to um, let us know. You'll notice, I'm sorry, these little check boxes. These are that you've completed the task assigned to the content. So you to get a little blue checkbox, you need to read the weekly resources. To take the quiz, you need to have read these resources before the quiz will even open. So um, there is some if this logic to um, why we have um, created the the check boxes so that you can keep yourself organized and make sure that you're doing what you need to do before you can move on to the next bit of content. So don't hesitate to reach out with questions and we really look forward to seeing you.